morning guys so today is friday the 31st of august it is my niece bella's birthday so bella if you are watching this happy birthday i can't wait to see you this weekend um actually this is going up tomorrow so it'll be too late but um it'll be the day of your party so um i wanted to just start out this video, Matt and I are gonna go to Kohl's. He's taking out the garbages right now, so we're just, me and Charlie are just waiting in the car for him. And we're gonna go see if we can find Bella a stinking present, because I can't find her anything. Everything here is like four to seven, and she's an eight. Over here is just school clothes, like uniforms. I don't know what to do. So since Matt is home, I am going to get all packed to go to Sioux Falls this weekend. So I thought I would let you guys watch me. These are all the outfits that I am packing for Charlie. Most of them are short sleeves with shorts, um, but then I brought a couple with pants just in case it's chilly or something like that. So I have all these cute little outfits. We just got these pants. They are so stinking soft. They're from um, Kohl's. They're so soft. I got these and then I got this color too. Um, and then I got these six month and then these nine month um, black pants because he never has enough black pants and um, we have these ones too so six month and nine month and this one I think is so funny Matt's cousin made this one too it says I drink until I pass out <laughs> so we'll have all of these I love this outfit on him but it's like already getting small so I'm gonna get as much use out of that as I can so we also got these shorts too um, today at Kohl's with my coupon since I couldn't find anything for Bella. Super cute. This is how I pack up his clothes. So I will fold the pants and then fold the shirt and then put them in like a little packet so that when you pull it out you know what outfit is for what. So if I'm getting him ready or if Matt's getting him ready, we know which outfits go together. I'm packing him four pairs of jammies and then he will ride in the car with jammies too. He, we're staying for four nights, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four nights. Um... I'm bringing five jammies though because you never know if he's going to have an accident. Okay, so this is what I'm packing for myself. This is just for one weekend, you guys. But you never know what kind of mood you're going to be in, so you have to bring lots of different options. So I have just two plain gray t-shirts. And then I have, this is a tank top. This is a tank top. These are my nursing camis that I will wear underneath my shirts. Then I brought two um, lounge t-shirts. And then one pair of shorts. And these jeans. I will always wear whatever like might take up the most space. So I'm going to be wearing my sweatpants, which are more comfortable in the car than jeans anyways. He's getting his bag all packed. I had to put my straightener and curling iron in his because it doesn't fit in mine. 
And I got my sweet baby boy. <laughs> That's hiding. <laughs> Are you pooping? <laughs> Charlie's shirt says, Sorry, the sleep you've ordered is currently... And then it says out of stock. That's pretty fitting. Except for you slept really good last night. Charlie slept from like 11 p.m. until... 8 o'clock this morning. It was awesome. We got up at 7 or like 6.45 to eat and then he went back to sleep for like an hour. It's really nice. It's kind of funny because I've been trying to upload more videos and I've uploaded every single day this week and I'm losing subscribers. People don't like me. We are about to take Matt to work now because he gets off at 9.30 and we're going to just go straight from his work to Sioux Falls. So, I'm excited. I had to wake Charlie up and you know he doesn't like being in his car seat so hopefully he falls back asleep. Also, I forgot to show you guys what we ended up getting for Bella so when I get home um, I'll show that to you guys. I'm actually trying to keep Charlie awake right now because I want him to sleep in the car. It is like almost 9 o'clock and we're going to leave to go pick up Matt in like 15 minutes, probably 10-15 minutes. I just fed him and he, like you can see he's wanting to sleep. Whenever he wants to sleep he always tries to like bury his face like this and so I'm kind of not letting him do it. Look how tired he is though. <laughs> I don't know how moms, this is a complete side note, but I don't know how moms have their hair down because whenever I wear my hair down, he grabs it all the time. So I always have to put it in like this super loose ponytail because I don't want it to get like kinked, you know? I also realized that I never showed you guys Bella's present. So I'm going to just tell you guys what I got for her and then maybe she will show it in one of their videos. I have no idea if that's like something that they're into is like showing gifts because I don't know if that like looks weird to show other people your presents. But sometimes people are interested. Um, but I got her a little easel. I got all of this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got her a little easel for painting and it's just like a little table one. And then I got her a few different sizes, or a couple different sizes of canvases. And a little paint set that like comes in a case with paint and brushes. And then we got her a little like paint tray. Like you know like the things that like the artists hold where you can like put your thumb in it. <laughs> we got her one of those. They had two different kinds. One that was just like a round like circle one with a lid. Which I was like oh that's a good idea to get one with a lid. So she, she wants to like use the colors later if she didn't use them up or whatever. But then Matt found the one that you can put your thumb through and it like looks like an actual like artist one. And so we were like, we have to get her this one. <laughs> That's what I got for Bella. So I hope that she loves it. She's so crafty and it's so fun. So um, I can't wait to see what she comes up with. But honestly, I'm probably going to just end the video here because the rest of the night, the rest of the night we're going to just be driving. So, um... So yeah, I'm going to just end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you don't unsubscribe from my channel um, like everybody else has been doing, I feel like. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please do. I have, like this past week, I've been uploading videos every single day. But I think I'm going to change that and maybe just do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I feel like that's what a lot of people do. Um, so maybe I'll do that. <laughs> maybe that won't... Um cause people to unsubscribe I don't know I love watching vlogs like daily vlogs so I like it but maybe people don't so if you do like daily vlogs um you can comment below if you like them um or if you think Monday Wednesday Friday is good I'll do that um but yeah let me know I will see you guys though in my next video bye so we're at the gas station getting gas right now in Jordan and there's a cop here and a sheriff. And I hear 
your sirens, are they coming here too? Something's going down. You can see. I don't know what happened though. Maybe someone tried to steal. These guys that are here at the gas station just saw me recording. Okay, there's like tons of people and now they're all standing out in the front. There's a fire truck there. Another cop back there. So we like did pay inside. We got our gas, but now we can't leave because we need to pay, but no one's allowed inside. Now we have to stay here? Like I don't really feel safe. I don't want to be here. Like why aren't they allowed inside? Like, everybody is standing outside of the gas station. No one is allowed to be in there right now. That sketches me out, and I have my baby here. Okay, I'm, like, in panic mode right now. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now there's firemen here, and they're putting on masks. If it was, like, a bomb or something, like like dramatic like that they wouldn't let us be here right mm -hmm. me and Charlie are sitting in the back because he obviously woke up there's a bunch of workers there oh the big fire truck is here now Charlie look at the fire truck my guess is that it was like a gas leak or something, do you think? Or like a carbon monoxide? Carbon monoxide? Whoa. I'm sorry, honey. I know you're so tired. I just won't feed him. went back inside now and they just propped open both of the doors. Uh. Charlie's making noises while eating. Uh. <laughs> if you can see on the far left, looks like the worker has to do like inventory before probably he can open like open up again. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what a good worker, following the rules even in times of crisis. Okay, so the fire truck left. There's still like the fire. <laughs> he just put out his passy. <laughs> Did you just eat honey? <laughs> Poor baby. Um, but Matt is in there now. He's going to get us drinks, which we usually always just do pay at the pump. And this one time we Sorry, I'm distracted because there's a cop car pulling up right there. Um, but we always do pay at the pump, but this one time we didn't because we wanted to get fountain pops. And <laughs> then this happens. Oh, what I was going to say was the firefighters were wearing like gas masks. So I'm pretty sure that was probably the problem, like a gas leak or something like that. Um, maybe Matt will get confirmation when he's in there, I'm not sure. But... Um, yeah, that's the excitement for our trip. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.